The Bureau of Transportation Statistics' primary resource for North American freight flow data is the Transborder Data Program. Transborder measures the dollar value and weight of commodities traded with Canada and Mexico by motor transportation, truck, rail, pipeline, air, and vessel. The data are also available by geographic detail for exports to and imports from Canada and Mexico by state and port. We released this data in a monthly press release, and it's also available on our website via interactive dashboards. The transborder data can be used in conjunction with the BTS border crossing data to gain a better understanding of North American freight and passenger traffic. The border crossing data program measures the simple number counts of commercial trucks, passenger vehicles, pedestrians, and buses entering the U.S. from Canada and Mexico by border crossing or port. We recently conducted a resiliency exercise with our partners in Transport Canada to identify top land border crossings that would be most vulnerable to supply chain disruptions, such as protests or say an earthquake that would disrupt the normal operations of a port. We use the transborder and border crossing databases to rank order the top ports along the US-Canada border by uh, the dollar value of imports, exports, uh, two-way truck volume and distance to nearest by port to uh, rank order the ports in terms of, you know, the most risky to least risky in terms of what would happen if one of these uh, ports would shut down and uh, freight traffic would have to be rerouted to a nearest by port, for example. And uh, this is just one example of, uh, you know, the value of the BTS transborder and border crossing databases that it can be used for various different, you know, research and uh, real life examples such as um, this risk assessment ranking that we have here. My name is Sean John Mir. I'm with uh, the Bureau of Transportation Statistics. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions.